Stu and Blake here from MMA Fan Podcast. Alright, how you guys doing? Good morning, oh, how are you? Have you guys started recording yet? Uh, well, I've, I've pressed record on the, the my side of the vocals, but I mean, we can start when you're ready, mate. Okay, we, I gotta do this little COVID test real quick. It's like yeah. scheduled at 12.30, so I just gotta swab, so I'm waiting for them real quick. So like five minutes okay. or no? Um, yeah, I mean, it, would we be okay to start and then pause or anything like that? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. We still on the swaps, huh? Okay. How many times do you have to do it in Vegas? Like twice? Yeah, I'm getting it twice. Yeah. All right, I got it. Pin, yes? Ooh. It's easy because they have a very big nose. What was that? How long? 121. There should be a bending point right here at the tip. Go ahead and break it off. Okay. Yep. Right here, go ahead and peel this off. And then you're just going to seal the bag at the top. Okay. What you're going to go ahead and do is attract your package off at your UPS door, preferably before 4 o'clock. Okay. Do you have any other questions? That's it. Thank you. I haven't really seen too much back and forth between you and two. I know it's been it's been quite a uh, it's it's quite a quick turnaround in terms of when the announcement was till fight night. I'm pretty sure I saw something. I think it was last October actually when he took aim at your record. He said you know, improve your record or something like that. <laughs> but actually, if you look at it now, you're, you've won four fights, he comes in with a bit of a mixed record the last four or five fights he's had. Kind of, how do you feel about that? And, and do you kind of feel like you're being overlooked a little bit? Um, so I, I never really set myself on being overlooked or the uh, favorite. I look to come out and, you know, do my thing. You know, it's been a couple of fights I've been the favorite in that, you know, I didn't do so well in. So like each chance is an opportunity to, keep that momentum going and really work towards something big. And ultimately I haven't got that title shot yet. So that's what I'm working towards. And that's my goal at hand. And in order to keep that alive, I need to go out here and look good against two. Fighting was just a natural thing for me, you know? Um, I love the competition. I jumped into the sport, not because I like hurting people. I love the competition. You know, I like to put myself up against someone and see who's better, who's gonna come out on top, who's gonna get their hand raised. And coming from wrestling where I feel like I didn't maximize and I kind of fell into MMA pursuing like Olympic style wrestling. It was my opportunity to kind of, you know, compete again and really mono versus mono. When it comes to MMA, you can't blame a, blame a team. You can't say, hey, it was this person's fault. It was a quarterback, it was a running back. Um, this person, you know, is you versus the other man. So whoever wins, get their hand raised, that's who's gonna prevail. And then you have to go back. If you didn't get your hand raised, you have to assess the situation and figure out how you can get your hand raised next time. So. The pure competition is what got me here. It's okay, it just touches a lot, don't really do Put that one up for me, please. The knee pad? Yeah, yeah. I would talk shit. I brought you the next one, man. But you in shape. No, I don't want no problems. No, I don't want you in shape. I don't want no, 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 no. I'm just trying to be a bully, but it ain't working with y'all no more. Just for the day. Or for the morning, at least. You know, go chill, relax. Get some food, which is the most important thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Only weight cut number 30th if we talking MMA. But if we talking wrestling, Probably 130, you know? So, every day just practicing the reps, getting sharper, getting better, making sure that we're ready when it comes fight time. DB ready, man. We got a big fight coming up. Uh, I, I like the matchup for DB, man. This Darren Till, young, you know, um, been around for a little bit, explosive, dangerous, but in all reality, DB's too, too big of a veteran. You know what I mean? He's been in the game what, 10 plus years just in the UFC alone, fought in Brazil against high level guys, 
in their home country. So I, I don't think it's too much pressure for him. I think it's a great matchup, and I think it's just going to show him who he is and show the UFC that he's actually a title contender, so uh, not just a journeyman. So I think it's a great fight for DB. And I'm ready. I'm excited for my guy, you know, five in a row. <laughs> so at 14, that's when you first? Yeah, 14 first, dyed the hair, put some peroxide in it, get a nice little red tint. So yeah, man, I was, this is the first time I dyed the hair. Started back way then, you know. Then I, I got bored during COVID. And I was like, let's try something new. So that's when the blind Brunson came through. Undefeated. Undefeated Brunson on top. What a weather. I know, it's nice out. Very nice, man. It's the only place you can go. Well, I mean, I don't know, maybe Cali. Cali's nice too. Year round, it's warm, nice. You can go to the beach in December. Super crazy. I live on the beach in, in Wilmington, North Carolina, but you can't go to the beach year-round there. You know, we actually have seasons. I mean, it's not too also bad. Not, do it get cold in the winter? Oh, yeah, it get cold in the winter. I mean, it don't get dumb cold. Let's say, like, a cold day for us in the winter would be, like, 30. You know? Sometimes I'm going to hit 20s, 10s, like, occasionally, but 30 is cold for us. <laughs> yeah, I would say my career so far, you know, has been a success. You know, I've had longevity, you know, I've been at the top. It's not like I came and I got ranked and I faded. I got ranked and I never ever was unranked. And you know, you're talking about, I don't know, seven, five, five to seven years of just being ranked. So I mean, I'm fighting the toughest guys, you know, it's been guys that kind of danced around the toughest guys and got a title shot where I've been in the thick of things for years, you know, I might lose, then I come back and win three, might lose two, then come back and win three or four, you know? So it's just all about um, being resilient, staying focused, staying to the top, and just keep chipping away, you know? And definitely, that is one of the things that I'm missing is getting that title shot, um, holding the title, you know? Because I've done everything in this game, you know? I've got the most first round finishes in a row in the UFC history. You know, I think I'm tied with like Don Fry or something, like five in a row. Um, I got the most first round finishes at middleweight. I got the fourth fastest submission at middleweight. Um, I've done a lot, you know, in the middleweight division. I think I got, currently I got the most, I, I, I think I'm one away from the most knockouts in middleweight history in the UFC. So I've done a lot in terms of that, you know, like I said, the only thing is really missing is really getting that title shot, um, holding that title and, and making that career really complete. You are definitely going to get your wrestling challenged. And are you excited to, I know you don't, probably don't care too much about the naysayers, but are you excited about showing that full repertoire of defensive wrestling and maybe even a, a little offensive wrestling as well? That extra solo competitor, that's why I messaged them. You know, it wasn't all, I'm not, John, I'm always telling them, always, people just know what I'm about. But if I want to fight someone, I'm messaging them, and I'm like, come on, let's fight me. So what does this unlock for you if you get past Derek Brunson? Put on a clinic against Derek, I'm fighting other Zanya, mate. That or I am fighting the champion. What's the game you be playing? Fortnite, you know, that's the game, man. Thank you. It's a thank you man's game. You gotta be able to build, shoot, and think real fast. So this is my game right here, man. What's up, man? You ready to get carried or what? Huh? What's up? Well, you know how I do today. DB with the slumps. You over here, take your lumps. <clears throat> now, they said the building on fire over here. Oh, I'm about to die. You right. I ain't got no. I got no gun. They got cars and everything. What kind of foods you try to stay away from uh, as you get closer to the weight cut? Um, I don't eat a lot of carbs in the beginning, so that's where a lot of people say they try to cut carbs to lose weight, is that I don't really eat a lot of carbs initially. So I guess that would be the thing. Stay away from those carbs. I eat like fruits and veggies. That's part of my regular diet anyway. Yeah. Fruits, veggies, meat. What that is? It's lobster, man. Oh, it's lobster. Oh, <laughs> man. I'm like, man, what is that? Ferret or something? <laughs> Come on, man. Let me tell you, you don't cook, man. Uh-uh.
Air fryer. I'm an air fryer life. Bro, you gotta learn how to saute stuff, man. Malal like... Muhammad put me on the air fryer, bro. Air fryer? Yeah. I saute in the air fryer. You gotta know how to cook, bro. You make your, you won't get tired of eating out. That shit get clean after a while. I, th I, put, I moved the camera to your face. I thought you was finna say something crazy. Like, you gonna be alone forever yeah, if nah, you don't know nah, how to nah, cook. Nah. Probably will. Nah, you, you better need... charm somebody and cook. It's a new, it's a new stuff right here. Habanero and wine. That ain't that Dustin Poirier? Nah, nah, not that Dustin Poirier. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta pay something for me to use it. Nah, I'm just gonna... <laughs> Send me some samples, man. You never know. Dustin Poirier, send him some samples. I like some, I like the hot stuff, so. You gotta, you gotta establish that. You, you know, you can't control pace if you don't establish that off rip. Yeah, no, that's fact. You gotta let them know, I will go at your pace. You go crazy, I'll bang you out. Pause. That's a fact. <laughs> no. If you don't do that, they're gonna, they gonna be like that. If the older version had to speak to the younger version of myself, um, it wouldn't be much I'd say. You know, I always kept the same energy from the beginning to end. I always showed up to training. Um, I always made sure that I did what I was supposed to do. But I would say, I would say to myself is, make sure that I do extra. Because I always, you got guys, I've seen guys that come to the gym, they, um, they might train strong for a month, then they gonna miss a month. You know, I was never that guy. I always come to the gym every single day. I do two, two practices a day, every single day. But I would say in order to be a champion and to excel, you need to do a little bit more. So older version would say to the young guy is that go that extra step, do a little bit more. Hey, I'm from Dominican Good luck with that fight with Till, man. Appreciate it. All right, all right. Good luck, man. Right, we love people. you, bro, in yeah. your country. Appreciate it. Fighting there until, you know, um, it's one of the bigger fights you can make in the middleweight division. Um, people are going to watch, people are going to tune in. You know, you have a guy over here from the UK, young guy with, with a lot, large following, has a crazy personality, he's funny, you know, um, got charisma, you know, everything going for him, you know. He, he's a little edgy, you know, he, he says stuff that might offend people, you know, plays the, the edge, you know. And then you have myself, you know, is the hungry veteran, you know, I haven't quite got my opportunity that I want, wanted. He fought for a title before, you know, and that's what I'm trying to get to, you know. So this fight has a lot of implications on it, you know. You could be looking at the guy that <clears throat> can potentially get the next title shot after Whitaker and um, Adesanya fight, you know. So I know Ken there had a decent performance, but you know, you're talking about the streaks, you know. I'm on a four fight winning streak. This one be can be this one be five, you know. So that's a lot of momentum to kind of rewrite my career, rededicate, redo things, and then after you know three or four years we get that rematch and show people you know what it's all about so just having the opportunity for this big fight and big spotlight it's like um that's great for the division great for myself great for till and uh great for the ufc hey y'all know what time it is you've seen the training we're fully prepared a lot of hard work going to this next weekend is go time Steal that title shot. Take that title shot. I earned it. Let's go.